as soon as it tells me we're live, we'll get started here. All right, guys. Uh, I'm Jeremy Marquez with J Marketing, Power Prospecting, and we call you close. And this is going to be a coaching call uh, with one of my cold calling students. And what we're going to do is we're going to discuss some features within uh, within the platform that he's using for cold calling and prospecting. Um, he uses Red X, and Red X is one of three uh, of the big three, I say. Now, there's other ones out there, but you have Red X, you have Mojo, you have Vulcan 7, which a lot of you have seen me be, me using um, quite often. Um, but Tommy, Tommy is using Red X, and that's one of my go-tos, you know, because realtors and brokers hire me to make cold calls, and if they don't have something set up, then I'll gear them towards Red X. And for my coaching students that don't have anything set up yet, I geared them towards Red X. Um, shout out to Red X. Now, nothing wrong with Vulcan 7 and, and Mojo. It's just That's just my personal favorite. The data they have, the features that they have, um, the ease of being able to make updates, and just the overall flow, I just like it best. However, they, they all work at it. They all have their own, uh, their own perks. Um, some of them have other features, features that others don't. But what we're going to dig into here is the uh, Red X Geo Leads, okay? The Red X Geo Leads is kind of like a lot of you guys that have been in real estate for a while are familiar with uh, the old school cold directory. The cold directory is you can pull neighborhood data and that type of thing. Um, but each of these platforms now has their own neighborhood search. Red X calls it the Red X Geo Leads. Vulcan is the Vulcan 7 neighborhood search. And there's different levels that you can subscribe to within that. Now, that's for circle prospecting, for farming. And it can be used for more than just your calls. You can pull a list to be able to send out mailers and anything that you could think of when it comes to pulling an address and phone numbers that are attached to that address. What Red X does is they uh, scrub tax and title records and that's basically how they provide the information not just for geo leads but for expires and for FISBOs and that's really where that data comes from now when I'm talking to a homeowner and they and they um, you know they ask that I typically don't tell them that I'm using a service like Red X or Vulcan 7 I typically say something like our assistants pull tax and title records because all they for all they know that Red X is one of our assistants they don't need to know the details I don't want to get Red X and Vulcan 7 or Mojo or these guys in any type of trouble. And that's actually something they suggest is when somebody asks, where'd you get my number? You know, don't 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 brush it off onto Red X or Vulcan 7 because then they'll have thousands and thousands of homeowners calling them and, and bugging them about getting their information out there. And we just don't want to get ourselves into a mess like that with the platform that's providing us excellent data, which allows us to be able to build relationships and eventually transactions and eventually commissions. So enough on that little rant there. Um, this is the, um, you guys should see the, uh, the, the, the hangout here with me and Tommy. And let's see here. And within the hangout, I am sharing uh, my screen and you guys should have a view of the Red X platform. And what we're going to do is we're going to just dive right in and we're going to talk about uh, we're going to talk about the Red X Geo leads, some different targets that within there, because when you do circle prospecting, you have uh, just listed calls you can make around a listing that was just listed. Either you or somebody in your office has that property listed. Um, you can do open house calls so you can let them know about an open house that you're doing and invite them to the open house. And then also it also you can do. Uh, just sold calls after that property is sold because typically uh, when one property sells in the neighborhood two or three just on that street are going to be listed for sale now it's a matter if they list with you or the competition and when you're proactive about it and getting in front of it there's a really good opportunity to line yourself up with 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 new listings after a property sells it doesn't necessarily have to be your property it can be any property and that's one thing you have to remember when you're doing just listed, just sold calls here. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be your property. 
um, that you have listed. It can be somebody in your office or just any property. And because you're not, as long as you're not lying to them and saying that it's your property that's sold, um, that's fine. Because the whole idea behind these geo leads and these circle prospecting calls is to be able to create more relationships with people who are listing property in the areas that you want to list uh, people that uh, the people that own homes excuse me to create more relationships with people that own homes in the areas that you want to sell more property okay so we have tommy here tommy quinn uh coldwell banker out in petaluma a uh, very productive office as you guys have met tommy before he's a newer agent and he's digging right in and being proactive in his, his in his business and he's starting to get some traction here and what we're going to talk about is how he's currently using the geo leads and then we'll dive in some th some things that i suggest he does and i'll show you guys how to kind of walk through and maneuver through uh, geo leads how i understand them and then that will be that will basically be the the topics that we're going to cover here in this live event and as always if you guys have questions comments things like that You're, you can use the the comments box and i'll try to get to them as, as i can okay and also as otis just said there thanks otis how's it going buddy just pending as well the thing you want to be careful though when you're doing just pending calls is not to give too much information on the sales price because in most markets and most mls's that's that's kind of a no-no and also you just don't want to uh, jinx yourself or uh, you know that type of thing but in most markets when I'm doing just pending calls I don't want to disclose what the offer accepted was um, because if something if something happens and that property falls out of escrow because of contingency or whatever it may be um, you kind of be shooting yourself in the foot if they knew what offer it was that didn't go through so and there's other reasons as well and again that's not my department that's Otis's department that's Tommy's department um, and I usually uh, default to the realtor or broker that I'm calling for when they ask me a question like that. It's, it's a great time to go in for the appointment, you know. Um, so, Tommy, uh, how are you currently using the Red X Geo leads and how much time are you realistically spending in their prospecting right now for your, your Geo leads that you've pulled? Uh, honestly, you know, I'm not using the geo leads as much as I probably should. I mean, I really like to pound the expireds. Um, you know, especially it's I love the it. beginning of the month, and usually that's when a lot of contracts have gone expired. Um, you know, in the beginning of the month. So, I mean, I've got a list of 300 or more expired listings I still got to get through, and you know, um, I downloaded a list from Wickersham Park on GeoLeads, which is like a local park here in town that I'm quite familiar with. It's located like seven minutes from my house. So, you know, I, I was just playing around with GeoLeads more than anything. Um, okay. But, you know, quite honestly, I'm really going for the expires and the for sale by owners. It's more of like a, you know, I've, I've called around the GeoLeads a little bit and, you know, it's, I think you mentioned it's a good change of pace if you're getting pounded pretty hard. And uh, the, the expires are kind of, you know, they're getting, you know, the calls are kind of getting getting to you a little bit. It's a nice change of pace to go over to the geo leads. It's a little bit of a uh, smoother type of conversation. Exactly, exactly. Because guys, when you're calling expires and fisbos, you're probably one of five, ten, fifteen, twenty, forty, fifty, hundred realtors, brokers, assistants, companies calling that same listing. Now, Tommy, I love what he just said. He enjoys the expires because, guys, expired listings, that's going to be one of the most difficult targets. And if you can start to have fun with it and really start look, getting really looking forward to calling expired listings like I do, if you can get good at that for sale by owners, for rent by owners, circle prospecting, any other target is going to be a cakewalk because you've had thick skin. You've been dealing with uh, people who are frustrated because their property didn't sell, frustrated because every realtor is calling. So when you're calling the just listed or just sold, they're not getting called a lot by realtors in the market. So what Tommy said, it's a good change of pace. Um, now, I'm going to help show Tommy to where it's more than just a change of pace and I show him to where he can really get specific with his targeting with these geo leads to where instead of just calling him just to you know kind of have fun with it he actually has a uh, a direction and uh, a result that he's looking to achieve 
Uh, Tommy, are you able to uh, see the, the Red X on the screen share there on Hangouts? Yeah. Okay, course. great. So, guys, let me backpedal a little bit. And Vulcan 7 is different. Mojo is different. But um, when you guys are part of my coaching and training, I walk you through all of that. I know all of these platforms like the back of my hand. There are a few things that I don't know. And when I don't know something, I'll just find out and I'll get that answer for you. Um, so this is Red X. Um, on the top here, there's a button that says GeoLeads, okay? Well, you, to access your GeoLead search, that's where you're gonna go. And what we're gonna do um, initially is we're gonna, we're gonna pull a couple, do a couple of searches, create a couple of folders, have, and set it up in Tommy's platform so that way he has uh, some targets within GeoLeads that he can start attacking. How's that sound, Tommy? That's great. Cool. I even have a, a couple addresses ready to go that are uh, uh, properties listed from my company. Great. Perfect. Because Tommy's a newer agent, he doesn't have any of his own listings yet. And the key word is yet, you guys, and we'll keep you updated. But as long as Tommy keeps doing what he's doing, he's going to start listing property. Um, and then we'll start having calls about doing just, just sold calls around his listings. And But we're just not there yet, and that's okay. So... What we're gonna do is um, initially, uh, and we'll get to the addresses Tommy has, but what I'd like to do is the last call we had with Tommy, we talked about an expired listing, a 2.25, uh, two and a quarter, two million, two hundred fifty thousand dollar property that he's gonna be nurturing. So what I'm gonna do is I have that street address and we're gonna put that into Red X Geo Leads. And then uh, we're going to do a search and create a folder so he can also uh, reach out to people in that neighborhood to be able to create more relationships. Because um, why not, right? It's a beautiful area, and I'm sure Tommy would love to have some listings out there in Bolinas. Okay, so there's the address there, Ocean Parkway, South Bolinas. Um, and so there's a couple of options here, okay? And... What I always do, so the first drop down here is amount of time. So this is the amount of time that the people have owned the property. Tommy, you seen all this? Yes. Okay, so there's a drop down here, okay? Um, you can say they've owned it at least six months, 12 months, 18 months, two, three, five, seven years. Now, I haven't gotten too uh, specific with that option, but it does give you that option. I always just keep it as any amount of time. So they could have just bought the property two weeks ago, okay? So number of phone numbers, it gives you up to three phone numbers. And I always do three because why not have more numbers? The more numbers, the better. Um, some folks might just want one number, but for what I do and for what uh, most of my students are doing, the more numbers we have is the more opportunities to get the right person on the phone. So we're gonna do three. Uh, search neighborhood. So there's another option here. You can search the neighborhood, a boundary. So you can, uh, it'll allow you to uh, I believe put like a circle or a square around around the boundary um, search on that street so it's a specifically Ocean Parkway or just search one property on Ocean Parkway what we're gonna do is a neighborhood okay now then it gives you the ability to choose how many you want now with Red X you get 2,000 credits a month for your geo leads and basically each property is gonna be a credit so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a hundred and once the search is already created Tom you can always go back there back in there and get more. Okay, so first we're gonna preview Okay, so when we do preview There's our property down there and then right now it's giving us the nearest hundred properties um, Their addresses their names and their phone numbers based off of tax and title records Okay and so this is Bolinas here. If you guys aren't familiar with Bolinas, California, it's out by Point Reyes, beautiful area right on the ocean. And uh, so the, it's showing us now the properties that it's pulled. That's a preview. We haven't pulled the leads yet. Now what we're going to do is add these leads into a specific folder. So right now it's automatically checked. Uh, I unchecked it just to show you, but let's keep that checked. And then we're going to create a folder for it. Okay, so we want a new folder, uh, new folder and then uh, enter new folder name. Okay, so we're just gonna call it uh, Ocean Parkway South uh, Bolinas. And uh, then we're gonna nest it under geo leads. And so the new folder that we're creating, uh, Ocean Parkway South Bolinas with those 100 properties are gonna be, it's gonna be under here, kind of like how he has Wickersham Park in here, the, the area he was talking about. And we're gonna go ahead and nest it under uh, geo leads and create, okay? 
and then we create it. And right now, Red X is working. Oh wait, I have to select a folder, okay? So Ocean Parkway South Bolinas, and then now, uh, we're gonna say get leads. Let's go ahead and get those 100 leads. And now we're back onto the main uh, Red X platform, and you see here at the bottom, Ocean Parkway South, okay? that's the, Those are the leads that we just pulled and right now Red X is working and it's loading those leads, okay? And while it's doing that, we can go do another search. Tommy, why don't you give me the address about the, of the property that you were talking about that one of your uh, colleagues has in the office? 1402, uh, I think, there you go. 1402 uh, Yarberry Lane. Spell that. Y-A-R. B-E-R-R-Y. -R Just like it sounds, huh? <laughs> okay, buddy. And give me a, a zip code. 94952. 94952. Okay. So we're going to keep the same uh, default stuff down here. And we're going to preview. Let's preview that. All right. So now it's going to give us, uh, show us, kind of give us an idea of where those properties are. Now, just for craps and giggles, let's go ahead and just play with this feature here to see what it does, and we'll, we can come back to this. Um, but I usually pull just like that. Let's say we say boundary. And I believe now it's going to give me the ability to, like, draw a boundary. Yes. Okay. You see what it's doing here? So that's that's I can create a boundary uh to you know the area let's say i want to come over here a little bit you know whatever i can do that all right and um and if it's just that street i believe it's going to give me all of the properties on that street let's preview yep so it's going to give me everything on yardberry which is awesome very specific that so, is cool. wow. or just that one property So now let's give, if we did that get leads, it will give us the data that Red X pulled for Yarbury. But let's go ahead and just keep it as neighborhood. And it's going to give us the nearest 100. Okay. And if you guys are asking questions or leaving comments, I'll get to that here in a moment. Bear with me. I need to focus on one thing at a time here. Okay. So... Tommy, do you see my red X? Is that what you're seeing? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So let's go ahead and pull those nearest 100. But remember, you want to make sure that you put it into a specific folder because as time goes on, you want to try to stay as organized as you can with your folders. That's very, very important, especially for a guy like myself. I'm great at multitasking, and sometimes I get caught doing 10, 15, 20, 30 things at a time, and me staying organized is key and staying in front of a mess that I'm creating. Okay. So we're going to have this, oops, that's not what we want to call it. I need to copy Yarbury. Copy. All right. Preview. Is that area called Sunrise of Petaluma? What's Sunrise of Petaluma? Sunrise. Uh, it's on the map. Is that like a store or something? Sunrise of Petaluma. I don't know. I've never even heard of that, to be honest. Sunrise. It could be a store. I mean, this is over on uh, the east side of Petaluma. Okay. Uh, so, you know, I'm more located on the west side, but gotcha. Sunrise. Yeah, I've never heard of that. Okay. That it must be a store because it's through Google Maps, and that's why it shows everything. Okay, so we're going to create that new folder, uh, Yarbury Lane. We don't need to have the zip code in there. And we're going to nest it under the geo leads. Let's go ahead and create it. And while we were doing that, I think that it pulled, it should have pulled. Oh, let's go ahead and get the leads. That's the last step. We're going to put them in that folder there and then get the leads. Okay, so let's check and see what it did for us with Ocean Parkway. Looks like it's still working.
So there's a few things you guys can do with these once you have it. As you see this one here that Tommy has, Wickersham. Uh, he, uh, so let's say that you want to send out like some direct mail, like a postcard or something like that before you call these guys or periodically. Uh, you, can, you can do that uh, by uh, selecting all. Okay, hold on here real quick. Oh, this is Yarbury. Let's just go ahead and do it as an example with this. So let's say you, you want to send everybody on Yarbury or in that neighborhood a postcard, you know, something like that, a piece of mail, anything at all. Um, and there's different services that you can use for that, like send out cards or there's other services, or you can do it by hand, whatever you guys choose to do. So let's choose all. Now, you could either do it by mail and I don't know that feature like the back of my hand. We'll do that on another uh, live event so I can dig into that a little bit more. Um, but what I usually do is I will go, I think here, uh, where you can export them all. Give me one second, other, okay? Under other, then you can uh, export. So you can export that whole list. You can print the list. Uh, print the details and that way you can have that information I think when you do it by mail it will even create labels for you I'm not sure exactly how that works so I don't want to teach you guys something I'm just winging it here but Red X does offer you those features in in uh, Vulcan you can just export the whole list and you can have a list to send out you know to mail um, so now that you have this this property uh, these listings around Yarbury you can also go ahead and create your you can start your dial session Okay, let's yeah, let's say after this call, Tommy wants to go in and just start calling these guys. Um, you know, he wants to not resume the past one, and and then he would just go ahead. And this is the dial up uh, dialer setup for for Red X. It's a little bit different with Vulcan, a little bit different for Mojo, but same idea. Um, you can turn the do not call on and off. You can turn the mobile numbers on or off. He can decide if he wants to call ones that he's already called today. Um, he can decide. Uh, only dial the first six phone numbers. So let's say that the lead has 10 phone numbers that were pulled, but you only want to call the first six. Um, there's all these different features here um, and options that Red X gives you. And then you would go ahead and load the dialer and then it will give you a phone number to call in. Then you can start your dial session to, to do some just listed calls. Oh, wait, is that property on Yarbury? Uh, you said that was recently sold? Recently listed. Listed, okay, so it's a new listing. So he would be doing just listed calls and he knows the listing agent. So he could talk to the listing agent and ask her, you know, do you plan on doing any open houses or anything like that? Because that way when he calls, he can be calling with a purpose. Um, hey, you know, it's Tommy Quinn with Coldwell Banker. Just want to give you a call. We, we recently listed 1402 Yardbury for sale. Doing an open house this Saturday. Would love for you to have come, love for you to come by. Also, do you guys know anybody live, move, looking to move to the neighborhood? You can have a chance to choose your own neighbors or hey will you plan on doing anything in the next few months as far as you know as far as selling if there's anything i can do to help basically you're making yourself available and attempting to establish yourself as the go-to for them as a listing agent let's say they're going to list in a year or 18 months great it doesn't always about the the deal now when you're doing circle prospecting you have to keep it in mind that it's about building relationships with as many homeowners as possible in the areas that you want to sell property in because Tommy's a young man he's gonna be in the business for a long time it's not always about getting the deal right now if he can set up a relationship with these folks and they're planning and selling in 2022 because that's when their kids are graduating school and then they're gonna go ahead and sell or to downsize or whatever it may be then Tommy keeps in contact he gets that email address sends him a uh, emails on a, on a regular basis just as their go-to postcards things like that so that way in 18 months when they're considering listing then they're in contact with tommy uh, he'll be able to go out there and meet with them and get that property listed and sold for them also they have a chance to get referrals uh, if they have friends and family who are looking to list the whole idea guys is to be able to establish yourself as the go-to agent for the neighborhood so that way when they think about a realtor they think about you Tommy, is any, does all that make sense so far? Oh, yeah. Any questions on how I pulled the leads or anything like that? No, not at all. I've actually done it with the Wickersham leads. I pulled, uh, I exported them and it exports them in, uh, into a, a uh, Excel spreadsheet file. You just have to edit it down a little bit in order to fit it into the platforms I use to send out mailers and postcards and things like that. But, it, I mean, it works great. You just Sometimes you have to go through them, too, because a few of them will be like a... Uh, a business or sometimes they get doubled up but other than that it, it works great 
Yeah, and what you could do is once you have, I think, let's look at the filter options here. This is kind of just trying to figure it out here. Because I know that like with uh, with saved filters up here, like we created previously, you're able to filter stuff out. I do not think with GeoLead you can filter out like property types and price points or anything like that. It's just more what it, what it gives you. Because like as an example, if I was to click on expired seven days here, um, it gives me... Let's see here so I can go here and then have more filters let me see if it allows me to do that for for Wickersham or one of these other ones here and guys if you haven't noticed a lot of the ways that I learn is by doing figuring out walking through and just learning by doing and when you're cold calling that's the that's one of the best ways to be able to learn uh, you know you have a coaching call with me once a week. We talk about certain things. You watch some of my live sessions calling as well as some other people out there that are doing the same thing. And then you pick up what they do, you apply it. If it works, you keep it. If it doesn't, you, you move forward. It's all about doing in order to learn. The learning is in the doing. And that's one of the best way. That's how I've always learned. And that's the, the best way for me to train as well as to have, just have somebody shadowing me and watching what I do. And they're able to pick, pick it up. So it looks like, Tommy, we can actually go through and uh, we, we might be able to create some filters uh, for these GLEs that we pulled. Let's see what happened here. Yeah, so we should be able to go to, uh, so like property, and then what we can do is we can filter out property types. So let's say you want to you want to take out like clubs, lodges, or whatever. You can decide here what you're actually we you have in that folder. Yeah, oh, I see. I see. So for so then what you would so uh, yeah you would initially just click on Yarbury the folder that you created. Okay, now you're looking at those hundred leads. Then from there. You would just scroll up to filters and then you go to more filters and you can play with this off of this live session Tommy but you see where yeah. I'm going with this it looks like you can filter stuff down um, by price by property type and so that way you're not wasting your time calling a commercial unit or something like that you know Yeah. So if you wanted to exclude gas stations or hotels and motels, you can do that. And then you would just save it, right? And then uh, that way when you're calling, you're not calling a list that can have the possibility for a gas station or a dental office or something like that in there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Narrow it down to mainly just, you know, residentials, especially in that neighborhood, it really only want to be calling residential properties or single family homes. Exactly. You don't want to waste time, you know, and, and efforts, um, even though, you know, you may, who knows, you might speak to somebody who owns a property and that type of thing, but that's not when you want to be as targeted as possible. So you're not wasting your time and you're, uh, and that's the whole key. Uh, one of the great things about platforms like Red X, like Vulcan 7, like Mojo, is they take uh, workflows, different things that we do before we had these systems, and they put it all into one to save us time and to make it easier on us to be able to prospect and cold call, uh, create leads to nurture, create appointments, and then down the line, create commissions. Okay, so let me take a quick look at the time here. Okay, got anything else in here? Looks like we, uh, yeah, well, that pretty much covers it right there. Now, uh, there's within there, within that list that, that we just pulled, so you can call when the property is just listed. Uh, you're just giving them a call saying, hey, we just listed a property over at you know, 123 Cherry Lane. I'm wondering if there's anything that we can do to help you. Or if you're doing an open house, you do the open house style call or after the property sells. So you can really use this same list multiple times before before it was listed, while it's listed, and then after it's sold to be able to do different types of circle prospecting. And it really will, like Tommy said, give you a change of pace in your day to have a different target. Because if he has five, 10, 15, 20 GeoLeads folders, okay, you can call expires first thing in the morning, all the new stuff. 
all the new FISBOs, then switch over to some just listed or some just sold calls, and then maybe go back to expires and do the stuff call like two for the second, third, fourth. So that way you can go back and forth. And that's the great thing about having all these folders over here is you can stay organized and you can just jump from you know your new expires to your one month old expires. You can call, jump from Yarbury to Ocean Parkway to Wickersham. And if you reach that limit of 2,000 credits, there is an option with them that you can get more. But 2,000 leads is a lot, guys. And because you're calling more than just once, you're calling until you, until you speak to them. Uh, so don't burn through your leads. But here's the thing, like what I was getting at is if you need more credits with Red X, that's, a, that's an option that they will offer to you. But that's just what comes with the standard subscription. Not once when I'm working with Red X, like if one of my clients that I'm calling for has Red X, not once have we ever gone over 2000 a month. So it's, it's possible, but you don't have to worry about that. All right, so I think that covers the topics for today. Uh, we, we really wanted to talk about Red X Geo Leads and the power of them and really how to use it. So for those of you that attended and those of you that watched the playback after I repost this, if you need any help with your, with your cold calling, uh, some coaching, some training, ongoing support for that, I definitely can help you with that. Uh, Tommy, I thank you for your time and joining me on this call so we can go through and walk through Geo Leads a little bit. Hopefully I brought you some value. Yeah. 100% man, I appreciate your time, you know, uh, helping me out through all this and giving me the coaching and, uh, you know, proper proper guidance on how to navigate the system, you know, because before we started chatting, there was, I didn't know half the things you're teaching me in Red X, I th and I thought I knew what I was doing, but yeah, I'm taking a lot of value from it, and right when we hang up from this session, I'm jumping on the dialer. And that's exactly what I love to hear, Tommy, because here's the thing, and the reason why I'm doing this coaching and training now is because I've been in the trenches using these systems for you know five plus years now. And so there's things that I've learned, mistakes that I've made that I can teach on the front end of how to not be not not spend the time that I did learning that stuff and I can just teach it, you know. And so that's exactly what we're doing here because these systems, Red X, Vulcan, Mojo, they're not fresh out of the box ready to go. Yeah, you can start calling, but there's some things you want you that you don't know that you that you won't know unless you get experience in, in using it. And so my coaching will will help you kind of get a jump start on the competition and on your own prospecting and so you can hit the ground running. All right, guys. I'm Jeremy Marquez. This is J Marketing, Power Prospecting. We call you close. Uh, Tommy, again, thank you for your time, buddy. Have a good rest of your day, and hopefully you are able to create some relationships, some appointments, and start getting some listings here, sir. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, dude. Okay. Have a, rest of your day. Have a good day, guys.